Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go to one of my favorite shops in Japan, the Hard Off. It's a used store for electric goods, and hopefully we can find a Sega Mega Drive. Welcome to Pandora Thrifts. Subscribe. Let's get hard. I'm sure you've seen it many times on YouTube's, but the Hard Off is one of the places to go in Japan, especially if you're after video games, electrics, guitars, and used bits and bobs. On the left here, we've got some toy cars. On the right in the glass case, there's some iPods and things like that. Camera lenses. And here are the games. Nintendo Switch stuff is fairly expensive, and even used games around $30. Ah. Oh. Switch case around $7 here, not bad. There's some game guides. And the drum controllers for Taiko no Tazujin. This one's for the Wii or Wii U for around $15. The Hori one for the Switch, around 45. There's a Joy Sound karaoke game for the Wii. Some loose games here. Super Smash Bug Plus. <laughs> and we're surrounded with Taiko controllers. Each one of these boxes will come with a controller and a game. Pretty good deal for $15. But even the Wii and Wii U games tend to be around $10 to $30, depending on the game. Same can be said for the DS. Some really expensive games here. Ooh, Game Boy Advance. Ice Climber. Rockman Z3 on the right for, what, $7? Not bad. Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. And there's this glass case with even more games. And there's one of my favourites. Rhythm Heaven Gold for DS, $4. Rhythm Heaven for Game Boy Advance, $24. Tetris World, never even heard of that one. Some 3DS. Ooh. Bubble Bubble for Game Boy. Switch games. Mm-hmm. These boxes, just got random stuff in them. Ah, more games here. For a Famicom. Boxed Virtual Boy games. Whew. $19 a pop. Some loose games hanging. And Super Famicom games. Basically Super Nintendo. There's a ton of them boxed for $4 each. That's insane. What's this? Mario Tennis 64 for $4 boxed. There's a few up here too. There's Donkey Kong 64, $9. Sheesh. Loose Banjo Kazooie, $4. And it's pretty crazy that all of these boxes seem like they're in pristine condition. Probably like manuals too. Let's have a look what they got. Hmm. $14 for. Panel de Pont. Never played that. Wild Tracks for around $10. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this one in the corner. What's this? Is that a Gundam game? Goddamn game. And this game here really does interest me. It's by Hudson Soft called Samigame. It's got a real weird cartridge. It looks kind of similar to a Super Game Boy. Super Game Boy, $11 boxed, $4 loose. Mario Paint. And Bass Fishing. Is the Purple Purples. Oh wow. Is a Namco Nekton. Black variant is $29. These are pretty fun to use for early Ridge Racer games. Beige one's up there too, for around $26. Nintendo bits, power adapters. Some PlayStation 4 units, and $180. And what's this? Hey, Neo Geo Mini. 90 bucks though. Ooh. PlayStation 3 Hori Fighting Stick, $25. Drum Mania controller, Den Shadow Go. 
and <laughs> PlayStation Multitap. <laughs> Some more controllers. It's a glass case. It's got some really interesting items. Ooh, MSX2 Plus data recorder set. Sold as junk for $330. It might work, who knows. Now that is insane. That's also junk for 500 bucks, flipping heck. Oh, you see this orange thing here? That's by Nintendo. It's essentially a Pong machine. In the back there, barcode battler. Few PlayStation 2 games here. PS Vita. PlayStation 3 controller for $7. PSP games. It's Gran Turismo, hmm, four dollars. Oh, here we've got some PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Compared to the Switch, PS4 games, pretty cheap. Let's have Mosey around here. Some brass instruments. And some more games. Got Dreamcast, Saturn, Xbox, Xbox 360. Bioshock, seven bucks. We already mentioned it in the pinned video at the top. The 360 games in Japan are very difficult to find in a used shop. There's some PC games, karaoke CDs, and, ooh, PC Engine. Cue cards. Sonic R up there, it's around 15 bucks. Ah, some box systems. And there's a Vita 2000. I always wanted one of these in the bright colors. They look really nice. The green writing at the top says junk, so it might not work. PS3, 70 bucks. Nintendo 64, Switch. Come on, there's gotta be a Sega Mega Drive somewhere. There's a PSVR. Ooh. Pikachu, Pikachu. <laughs> Oh, behind the Pikachu, there's this HDD PlayStation 3 recorder. Huh. Box GameCube, $35. Some loose consoles. And handhelds. PSB, around $18. Not bad, but we can expect the battery to be fried. Vitas. for two hundred dollars for a Game Boy Micro. That's insane. If it's got green writing at the top there, it means it's junk. Either untested or there's something wrong. Here at the description, this one says it's got some rust around the AC adapter and some scratches. N64 blue, about seventy-five dollars. Not bad. A nice night for a walk. Yeah. Nice time to walk around the shop. It's not just got games, there's tools, TVs, telephones, printers, <laughs> and more games. In this case, the whole cabinet is junk. So you can grab one of these, maybe you attempt to repair. I'm a total sucker for green. DSi, around $16, $17. Even a Game Boy Pocket there for 14 <laughs> But the label says that has rust, so I assume the battery is just leaked. Another glass cabinet. Some cameras. And this here is my favourite section. All these are dirt cheap. Let's have a look around. Box DDR map. Next to that, Junk Wii U, 45. Some PlayStations, Super Scope, and a clone Guncon 2 controller. PS1 consoles for just under a dollar. We repaired some of these in a previous video. Label states has difficulty reading discs. Ah, Guitar Freaks controller. 
Oh, four dollars fifty. Let's keep moving. A Beat Mania controller, around fourteen dollars. And another Hori stick. This one's for the PlayStation One. It's powered up but not game tested. Check them bongos. Two dollars a set. I like to pound Beverly's bongos. I'm John Luke. And at the top, PSVR. Just over fifty dollars. Has some issues with the rubber. PS2 force feedback wheel. Is that Monopoly? Mm -mm -mm. We. Four dollars with Wiimote and stand. Mm -mm -mm. One next to it has adapter, nunchuck, and nineteen dollars. More Tyco. An official PlayStation headset. And what the heck is this? Xbox 360 HD DVD player. Hmm. I wonder what you can do with that. Super Famicom. Famicom. Wii U. Lappies. And GameCubes at the back. Around 20 to 25 dollars each. Computer monitors. Oh, actually, these are all in one units. I have one like this in the attic, and it's pretty bad, actually. <laughs> PC cases. Some have motherboards in. And another headset. Don't know what this is. Uh, Xtatic. When they banned. And this laptop looks pretty nice, but the specs don't. It's a Celeron laptop for sixty dollars, and the F7 key is missing. I think Wesley took it. We may need to lock him up in the basement. Over there, some DVDs, cables, kids' toys. Ah, let's get back to these. Each one of these crates has loose games in. It's Super Famicom. And this one is Power League 3 for just under a dollar. Sometimes you stumble on some greats, like Super Donkey Kong, just under three dollars. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, some DS. To be fair, most of these carts are bottom of the barrel games. Kaki Torikun for around two dollars. But if you're looking for better condition boxes for your other games, it might be an idea to get some of these. Oh, GameCube, Donkey Konga. Some Dragon Ball Z GameCube. Xbox 360 games, Arcania. Star Ocean, Lost Planet. Oh, Dishonored. Oblivion! Let's have a look through. Oh, that's not even Virtual Fire. CG Portrait Series. Sixty-four soft, our favourite. Pikachu, Pikachu. Mario Golf sixty-four at two dollars. Never played it, but it might be a good game. This crate is uh, the other games. Echo to the Dolphin two for the Mega Drive. And fourteen dollars. Believe it or not, Mega Drive games are actually quite rare in Japan. Nintendo really did dominate the market. What's this? Age of Empires three in Japanese for just under a dollar. Some boxed PlayStation 2. I enjoyed this back in the day. That was a good one. There's some loose CDs up here. Bit of a mix. PlayStation 1. Mm. Hey, kick punch block. Some more loose games. Shadow Hearts. I've never played that. 
Oh, she looks pretty. Can you get her number? PlayStation 3. Beat Sketch. Tawny. Let's have a look at these. It's Kingdom Hearts 2. About a dollar. Oh, wait up. The Bouncer. It's actually quite a fun game if you like brawlers. We saw the controller before for Guitar Freaks. Here's Guitar Freaks Drum Mania V2. It's $7. There's some scratches on it, but yeah. And underneath, there's more games. PSP. Winning Eleven, Torico, some more PlayStation 3, never heard of this one. Usually with the loose PSP cuts we'll have many versions of Winning Eleven and Monster Hunter. Trying to find a monster, I am a monster, by the fireplace. Cables, adapters, controllers, Wii games. And this is probably my favorite game on the Wii. Mina no Rhythm Tengoku. In English, it would be called Rhythm Heaven Fever, I think. Just Dance, pretty fun. And just over here, we've got some music CDs. I'm Blue. Da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba so this is what we bought. Set us back $40. And if there's anything you want us to take a look at, please tap it in the comments below. This has been Emi Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!